this class we will go to one problem a star connected alternator with the actor in neutral the fault current is 300 amps calculate the sequence currents a short circuit to act the occurs near the terminals of r phase so fault occurs on r phase i y is equal to 0 i b is equal to 0 i r is equal to 300 and 0 here the fault current is given we have to calculate the sequence currents i r 1 is equal to 1 by 3 i r plus a i y plus a square i b i y is 0 i b is equal to 0 therefore i r 1 is equal to 100 amps i r 2 is equal to 1 by 3 i r plus a square i y plus a into i b these two terms are 0 so i r 2 is equal to 100 amps i r naught is equal to i y naught is equal to i b naught the zero sequence currents are same that is equal to 1 by 3 i r plus i y plus i b 1 by 3 into 300 that is equal to 100 amps so i r 1 is equal to 100 i r 2 is equal to 100 i r naught is equal to 100 next we have to calculate i y 1 i y 1 is equal to a square into i r 1 that is 100 angle 240 degrees in amps i y 2 is equal to a into i r 1 that is 100 angle 120 degrees in amps i b 1 is equal to a into i r 1 that is 100 angle 120 degrees i b 2 is equal to a square into i r 2 that is 100 angle 240 degrees here i r is equal to 300 i r is equal to i r 1 plus i r 2 plus i r naught 100 plus 100 plus 100 that is equal to 300 amps i y is equal to 0 i b is equal to 0 so i y is equal to i y 1 plus i y 2 plus i y naught 100 angle 240 degrees plus 100 angle 140 degrees 120 degrees plus 100 angle 0 degrees that is equal to 0 i b is equal to i b 1 plus i b 2 plus i b naught that is equal to 100 angle 120 degrees plus 100 angle 240 degrees plus 100 angle 0 degrees that is equal to 0 once a fault current is given we can easily calculate the sequence current of all the phases the conclusion is the symmetrical component do not have separate existence please understand they are only mathematical components of unbalanced currents which actually flow in the system if a fault current is given this way we have to calculate the sequence currents in the other phases the next problem is a three phase 10 mea 13.2 kv generator with the earth neutral supplies a feeder the impedances of generator and feeder are given below all are in ohms positive sequence impedance of the generator is j1.3 negative sequence impedance of the generator is j.8 zero sequence impedance of the generator is j.4 positive negative zero sequence impedance of the feeder is j.1 the question is if a fault occurs on far end of the r phase Calculate the magnitude of fault current. First step you have to calculate the total impedance. Total impedance is equal to sequence impedance of the generator plus sequence impedance of the feeder. So positive sequence impedance Z1 is equal to J1.3 plus J.1. Z1 is equal to J1.4. Z2 is equal to J.8 plus J.1. Z2 is equal to J.9. Z0 is equal to J.4 plus J.1. Z0 is equal to J.5. Next step, we have to calculate per phase generated EMF ER. A given value is 13.2 into 10 power 3 divided by root 3. That is equal to 7621 volts. We know that for a single light ground fault, zero sequence current IR0 is equal to IY0 is equal to IB0 is equal to ER divided by Z1 plus Z2 plus Z0. Substitute all the values. For a single the zero sequence current is minus J 2721.79 amps. Fault current is three times zero sequence current. That is minus J 8165.36 amps. The magnitude of fault current is 8165.36 amps. The next question is if the neutral is earthed through an reactance J.3 ohms, calculate the magnitude of fault current. Now, the zero sequence current is equal to 3 into ER divided by Z1 plus Z2 plus Z0 plus 3 into Z10. 
Therefore, z0 is equal to j.5 plus 3 into j.3. So, z0 is equal to j1.4. Therefore, the zero sequence current is equal to ER 7621 divided by J1.4 plus J.9 plus J1.4. So, 7621 by J3.7 that is equal to minus J 2059.73 amps. That is the zero sequence current. Fault current IF is equal to 3 times zero sequence current. The magnitude of fault current is 6179.19 amps. This way we have to output this problem. Thanks for listening.